Also, that leads me right into my next tip, is extension cords. I swear, I only have one outlet in my room. So, if I unplug this, look, there's a zip tie. It's totally Taylor and for today's video I'm gonna be telling you guys some dorm room hacks that either my friends have told me that I've learned on the internet or that I've experienced myself um these are great hacks I use them they're amazing these are like my top hacks too these are hacks that have made my dorm room life a little bit easier and I think you guys definitely need to know this if you're an upcoming freshman or if you're already in college but you just you need to make your dorm room a little bit cuter or a little bit easier but before we get started with this video make sure you guys are following me on my other social medias for tiktok and instagram it's at it's totally taylor and then snapchat it's at simply tay02 all right guys the first hack that i'm going to tell you actually has to deal with the drawers and how to kind of fold your clothes so you can get the most storage or the most space so i have i brought a lot of jeans jeans, shorts, and yoga pants. And when I saw the drawer space, I was like, there's no way this is all gonna fit. But my mom, she started folding like my clothes in a certain way when she was helping me move in. And all of a sudden, they all fit now. I was like, how'd you make it all fit? All right, so how you do this is that you actually fold your clothes vertically. So I'll pull one out to show you guys. You see how it's kind of rolled up? So look, I'll unroll it for you guys. So you see these, so basically all you do, so you'll fold it once. And then you fold it up like a hot dog. See, look, it's kind of like a hot dog bun. You know, you can kind of fit a little hot dog in there, but then you kind of close it, and then you put them in the drawer. You guys see that's a lot. There's no way that you could fit all of this by just regularly folding. These are my jean shorts. These are my jeans. And these are my yoga pants. It's literally crazy. I feel like everyone needs to start doing this with their drawers. It just saves up so much space. And now, I can use all the other drawers for other stuff and I don't have to worry about that. Hack number two actually still has to deal with stuff inside the drawer. So sometimes when you put your clothes in the drawers for a while, they get kind of musty dusty. They start smelling weird. A tip for that is to put in dryer sheets into your drawer. There's one, um, I think there's another one right there, see? And they keep your clothes smelling nice. Honestly, I love the smell of dryer sheets. I don't know if that's just me, but I love they smell so good. I would literally wear a perfume of this. You could just leave it on top there and then your clothes will keep smelling nice. They won't lose that fresh smell, you know? So another storage idea that you can use is storing your shoes. So kind of to keep your room kind of more clean and organized instead of throwing all your shoes, at like maybe the top or the bottom of your closet, you can get a shoe door organizer. Look at this. I am obsessed with it. I love it. And it comes with this bottom space too where you can put extra stuff as well but look at that so I got like my running shoes some tennis shoes a bunch of sandals because again I live in Florida it's, it's really hot here I got my vans next tip while we're still in the closet is this mini vacuumer I love her she's very nice I've used her a few times look at her oh don't look at that stain I don't know what that is <laughs> so it is this mini vacuumer but watch this if you want it even smaller it comes apart you could like vacuum your bed now it's like er, like if if you accidentally spill stuff on your bed so basically this comes off this like wand thing i don't know like if you have an intruder but yeah, basically having a vacuum in your room is pretty nice because if you accidentally spill something on your bed or on the floor, a nice vacuum. You won't have to, you know, pick it up with your hands because that would take way too long. All right, guys. So the next tip I have or the next hack is this mirror. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this mirror. So obviously it's a regular mirror. You hang it actually on the door. But watch this. Voila. It's a storage for like earrings rings, bracelets, necklaces, some storage stuff. Like I love this. Look and it even has another come here. I got this off of Amazon and I'm obsessed with it. Like literally, I had no clue what I was going to do with my um jewelry. I was like, where am I going to put it? You know, somewhere like where it won't get, you know, tangled and it won't get ruined. And this this is perfect. Also, it comes with a key too, so you can actually lock this up. Next tip has to do with the bed. Oh, look at my lights. I love my lights. You see this little charger port right here? Oh yes, I'm obsessed with this. So if I unplug this, look, there's a zip tie. 
holding it up. So all you do is you plug in like one of these big outlet things, plug it in, it stays put. It's great. I'm obsessed with zip ties. There's um, some things that you can't use because you can't ruin the wall or your bed frame or anything like that. So like zip ties are easy. All you gotta do, cut them off when you're done. Also, that leads me right into my next tip is extension cords. I swear, I only have one outlet in my room. So I'm like, how am I gonna charge things? How am I gonna do that? You know, how am I gonna plug in my computer, blow dry my hair, or do just plug in stuff that needs to be over there? Extension cords. I actually have like six in my room. Okay, so if you come down here, so we have an extension card that goes ding. So then you have this. Then you see this blue thing? It goes all the way. And I used these clipper things. I used them for my lights, but I had some left over, so I plugged it here. It goes all the way up my door. There's another one. And then it comes all the way down to there. You do have to be careful with like using stuff like this because if you pull them off too quickly, they will peel the paint off, so make sure you pull it slowly. And by the way, my RA gave me that tip about you can still use those, so you just have to pull them slowly. That's actually how I hung my lights. They're hung up by my lights. All right, let's move on to another type of command hook. So right now, because of Corona, we have masks and everything. Honestly, you can still use this for kind of like your keys, but command hooks to hold up your masks so you don't lose them, you know? They're right here on the door. This is for my roommates, but she's out right now, so you can hold up your keys, your lanyard, your masks, and it's great, because then you won't lose it, you know? You won't be looking around your room like, where did I put my mask, or where did I put my keys? All right, the next one has to do with my bed again, so we're back over here at this little section, but you guys didn't see something. If you look under here is bed storage. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I actually don't have anything in there yet. I actually have my iPad in there. <laughs> But yeah, bed storage. So like you can put your phone there because we all know getting in and out of your bed is so hard, especially if you have bed razors. Oh my gosh, I swear. It takes me like a whole five minutes to get on my bed because it's just so tall. Like guys, I'm literally just here like resting on my bed. You see this? It is like chest height and I am six foot. Or you can put honestly snacks there too. It even stores your water bottle. That is amazing. I love this water bottle too. But yeah, storage, storage, and more storage. Aww. Next one is has to do with, <laughs> guess it. Guess it right now what it has to do with. Storage, more storage. This storage actually stores my favorite stuff, my snacks. All right, so look, I got my Pringles, I got my silverware down here. I got some rice cakes, popcorn, and then ramen down there. You know, where else are you gonna put your snacks? No, I'm just gonna put them on the floor. That is just so cute. I'm obsessed with it. The next tip actually has to do with freshening up your room. So, I actually don't have this right now because I just ran out, but you know those little car fresheners that you clip on like the vents of your car to make your car smell nice? Well, you can also stick them to your vent. You can stick it into your vent and then it'll just kind of fill up your room with smell good stuff because you're not allowed to have candles. Stick it up all the way up there. Your room smells nice. Nice and clean. Another tip to make sure your room smells nice and clean, because again, I'm obsessed with dryer sheets and just how they smell. You can actually stick your dryer sheet up on the top of your fan because it's a vent up there. So you just place it on top and it just grabs all the smell good stuff and it just goes into your fan. It's like, <sighs> okay, I think I can touch it now. I'm scared, what if I get my fingers chopped off? Okay, I'm gonna die, but it's okay. Oh no, I'm gonna die. There. I know, it shakes. The fan shakes and it scares me. I feel like it's gonna fall one day. All right, so my next hack has to do with showering and you know, putting your hair up. So if you're a girl, you know the struggle of having to use two towels, one for your hair and then one for your body. I bought these hair wraps. All you do, flip your hair upside down, put it in, whoop, and then back here is a loop thing. It looks a little bit rough now, 
but when your hair is wet it's a lot easier but then look you don't have to ever worry about it you know and it's like a lot less clunky too you know towels are huge on your head these are just so much more easy so before we end this video if you guys have any more tips or hacks please leave them in the comments below so other people can read them I need hacks please so please go leave them in the comments but stay beautiful stay positive and I'll see you guys in the next video